go right. We're here, the final night, Sound City 2011, which has been a fantastic festival once again uh, in the beautiful crypt. Uh, we're here with none other than John Power from Cast. God bless. God bless you. Yeah. Right, John, I want you to cast your mind back 15 years, right? Yes. B96. B wow. That was, yeah, I that, was, that. that was the last time I came to watch you. Oh, right. It's not our choice. We don't have the opportunity no, to go again, but I think my nan was ill or something. Okay. But, uh, yeah, so cast your mind back. She's what she's said since, but, you know, it's. Uh, she died like oh, right. it's ten years since then, but you know, God bless him. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but cast your mind back to that point. We were sharing the same lineup with Paul. Uh, Paul Newman was on as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what else was on? Super Grafter on. Yeah, that's right. It was all the amazing festival. That's right, yeah. Well, it was yeah. the beginning. It was the first festival actually. That was the first festival. It was the first festival. festival. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and we got a coach to Warrington for thirteen pounds yeah. then. Get it in. Yeah. But um cast your mind back there. The crowds then compared to the crowd now. Well, to, to be honest with you, um, I think it, it, I think crowds and, and the youth enjoy themselves. It's funny because I've got children and they're, like they're doing the same thing. They're four, you know, fourteen and twelve, and yeah. they're, they're just getting up to the same mischief as what as what I was getting up to. So, and the crowds, I think people are too big a band. Yeah, they're, they're getting it. into it, and it transcends, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I mean, the crowds were great. Yeah, but what inspired us with the crowds of the 50s and the 60s, and it's what I mean, it's yeah. the bands, and the, I just think music transcends time. It does. You know, and, and connects with every gen well, generation. How did you see like, loads of young faces in the crowd as well? Yeah, tonight like, was great. There was a lot of young singing along as well, yeah. knowing all the songs. Yeah, I mean, you know, I think coming back after being away for so long, I think doing the tour just in winter, which was kind of quite success. We've got some new material coming out, and I, I think you know, given the right opportunities, or you know, we might connect with with people because music is music, and it's always interpreted by it's you know, it's timeless, really. Yeah. I mean, whether I'm listening to Eddie Cochran and Early Blues that's or it. something yeah, that's yeah. contemporary. Yeah. It's it, it, you know, it's still it music to me. Yeah. Just because my dad loved Chuck Berry doesn't mean I can't get in it. That's true. But do you think, like, as you tell to go on tour again, do you think you have to like evolve to fit in again? Or do you think you'll just play it and people love it? Um, it's, like, for example, say, uh, Beardy Man or BDI, they call it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, like BDI. Liam Gallagher. Yeah, Liam, yeah. And they'll have to kind of, like, change their alteration. Well, they've changed their thing because their main songwriter, no, yeah. you know, has moved on. That's it, yeah. So they've, they've, they've had to discover their own standing. And, 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 and they are doing, I imagine, you know. I, I think, really, it's kind of, you can either live on, like, the kind of, the past thing, mm. or you're driven to write something new. Now, the only reason cast are doing anything again is not because of going out and doing the old tour. I mean, I could have done... I never played any cast songs for nine years. You yeah. Know. I don't know. No, and the only reason we're doing it now is because I've written a new album. Yeah. Because I've written a new album that is a cast album. I feel happy to play the old, the old cast stuff again. Get you back into yeah, that, so, I mean... Yeah, I don't know what the question was. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, imagine, we I, imagine, I imagine we've answered it. <laughs> we did. <laughs> Something. Well, well, we'll change a bit now. Looking at like superpowers. If you have any superpower. Superpowers. Any superpower. See, the serious ones. Power right? to heal. The power to heal. That's a good one, actually. Yeah. yeah. And I'd be first in line. Yeah. <laughs> You're not an invalid, you know. <laughs> yeah, but what I mean... <laughs> All right then. I mean, we've all got the power to forgive, haven't we? That's true. Yeah. That's the hardest thing to do. Yeah. It's the biggest message to get. Yeah. Because the trouble after people you meet walk around that are hung up. You know what I mean? It's things that happen to them. You take on board. It's very hard to let go of stuff mm. uh, and to allow. You know what I mean? Because every day, I mean, it's every day is a new beginning. Like you know, and every you yeah. know, we carry the baggage. It's very hard to put it down because it actually becomes part of the drama. Why do people watch? Um, you know, TV soaps and yeah. get caught up in gossip and that because it's kind of titillating and like, mm. a, like a little bit of a kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, forget, if you forget that you can just go, actually, I'll just put that down and yeah. walk away. One of my friends has got a great saying, life's too long. He said, if you ever fall out with someone or, you know, you have a bit of a fracas, you'll see that person every single week for the rest of your life. He said, life's too long to hold grudges. You've got to bury it or you'll see them. <laughs> no, 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 you can't remember. I mean, life's too short to hold grudges. Yeah. Because you, thing is, there's plenty of reasons. I mean, people will always put you down. And there'll be people who will always be eye to eye with you. Mm -hmm. There's enough people out there who will ridicule and find cynicism within, within things that you do. Um, but that's an easy thing. It's yeah. easy to find the negative 
It's harder to be creative. It's easy to be disruptive. Mm. Anyone can stamp on something. Yeah. Anyone can snap something, but it's harder to create. It's harder to give out. It takes some, a bigger power. Something. Like that. Well, it's just it's a love in it. It's just you know what? It's a purer. It's a more refined character. Yeah. You know, anyone. It's it, it's a base level to just go. Yeah, and snap, and you know, and it's more about the way that other that people feel about themselves. They're feeling shit about themselves, that they, you know, they want you to feel the shit as them. Yeah. Well, one final question. But that's right. not there, but I mean, I'm, I don't know what, what this. Yeah. I don't know what this is like. <laughs> it's not. It's just chatting. It's not a proper interview. Yeah, yeah. Have a chat. Um, the, the final question though is, you know, when you get past snapping points, like you know, you know, on tour and that, or just anything like, what, 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 what calms you down? What's the thing that just makes you go, do you know what? I'm still well, experience. I think if you'd have asked me that question 20 years ago, I'd probably have a different answer. But now I've, there's been so many reasons and opportunities to, to take the baggage that you just spoke about through your life. Mm. You have to give it up, otherwise it just walks you. Yeah. So that's your tip experience. Learn from what you've done. Well, I think... And that's how you find your I think Most people... Right, look, if you, do, if you make the same mistake over and over again, then you are a fool. Mm. But somewhere along the line, you need to go, well, I've done this. I know exactly what, what, how it's going to turn out. Yeah. Know, so it's, I mean, my, yeah, I think it's kind of like you, can, you learn to put it down and let it go. Yeah. It's only, it's only, it's a, it's a habit you have that keeps hold of, um, of the shit baggage, you know. Your inhibitions and that. Well, it's just, you know, the shit baggage, you can put it down, but it's hard because you have pride and all these, yeah. all these things. You know, but it's something you've got to learn. I mean, it's no use me telling you. I mean, you have to I, learn it for yourself. I've been, you know, I mean, we've all had to live our life, and I've been through, my, you know, I've got, I mean, just in my little life, and there's been, everyone out there is starring in their own little yeah. film, you know, and, I'm, and we've all got, we've all been, I'm sure we've all got a story to tell, definitely, you know. Well, great work, right? All right. Enjoy the tour. Enjoy okay. the comeback, and good luck with everything. All right. Okay. Thanks. Keep great. on keeping on. Keep on keeping on.